So Steve Smith and Aaron Finch, uh, your vice captain and captain for uh, this tour, can you elaborate on those selections a little bit? Yes, well, with the Australia A uh, tour of the UK at the moment, Brad Haddon is captain and Steve Smith is his understudy. Uh, and we're, we're looking forward to uh, Steve Smith developing his leadership qualities and this will be a great experience for him. Uh, Aaron Finch is vice captain. Aaron did a very good job as captain of Australia A in February against the England Lions in Australia. So we think those two uh, as lead leaders in the group will be will give strong leadership and very good leadership. Steve Smith has got very good cricket now uh, and a very good on-field thinker in the game. So, and Farwood Army has been included in this squad. Um, yes. Where's your current thinking uh, with him at? Well, in Australia A at the moment, there are three spinners. Uh, Nathan Lyon, who's in the Ashes squad, and then uh, Ashton Agar and Farwood Ahmed. So those two uh, are, in, in a sense, in contention if we decide to expand the Ashes squad and expand it with a, with a spinner then Ashton Agar and Farwood Ahmed are the two contenders for that position. So they're both included in this squad um, and we look forward to them getting more opportunity in this environment. And Josh Hazelwood, he spent a little bit of time around the Australian setup just this, this summer gone. What does he bring to the side? Well, he's, he's a very promising fast bowler, Josh. He's a big, strong lad with good pace uh, and he's now probably the fittest he's ever been. So we look forward to him doing very well in South Africa but he's, he's a player we've, we've earmarked for the future. He's a very promising player. And Tim Payne is an experienced campaigner in, in this side, and he's been obviously a little bit unlucky with injuries in the past. Is he someone you still see is likely to push on for higher honours? Yes, indeed. No, he had a wretched time with a, with a badly damaged hand, uh, and it took a little time for him to come back, but towards the end of the Australian summer, I thought his form was, was very good indeed. Uh, he kept very well and his batting was good too. So he's regained his confidence and is in good form and this will be another opportunity for him. And Sean Marsh has, has been out of the fold for a while, I guess you could say. This is a great opportunity for him. Yes, it is. Uh, Sean at the moment is, is very fit and focused. Uh, and as you say, this will be a really, really good opportunity for him. He's got, uh, there's a three-day game, two four-day games and one-day games. So there's a lot of cricket there and uh, he'll bat when he plays at the, at the top of the order uh, and it is a really good opportunity for him to kickstart his career again. And Pat Cummins has been included as a development player. Um, can you give us an update on how he's progressing? Yeah, Pat, Pat is progressing very well. Uh, currently he's with the, the Australia A Tour in the UK in a development capacity there. Uh, he's trained very hard, he's very fit and very strong. Uh, Dennis Lilly uh, worked with him and uh, he's refined his action a little uh, to put less stress on his body and we're very keen that he, he ingrains those habits, those new habits, uh, before we put him into a contest in the field uh, to ensure that he doesn't revert under the pressure, revert to old habits uh, under the pressure of the game. So it could be, I mean the tour's another five weeks, it could be that we're ready to give him a run in a couple of the games there. But he's, he's in good shape, progressing well.